Hello Internet, it's Brink and welcome back. Today we're diving into something that has been highly requested on my channel, my in-game UI and keybind setup in World of Warcraft, retail version. The cool thing with my setup, it's one layout for all my tank classes. My goal is to keep the muscle memory going across the board, no matter what class I play, they will all feel the same. And to keep it clean and simple, the goal is to avoid any double information on my screen. For any weak horrors, I won't address them here. I would recommend checking the class guides, where I have them showcased in the video. And if you're looking for my old Elf UI setup, definitely check out last week's video. Okay, let's dive straight in. Let's start with the add-ons I use to create my layout. I will place them on the screen right now. The first list is mandatory to achieve my layout, Bartender 4, but you can also just use the in-game action bars. Your choice. For details, I downloaded a skin called the War Within. This will blend your details in the same style. The second list are additional add-ons to make my gaming experience better. Again, my goal here is to use as few add-ons as possible. To keep it clean and efficient, I prefer Bigwigs and Plater. And Dialog UI gives a better looking quest window. I will not bother you with my Bartender 4 tutorial. But if you like my layout, there is an import code below this video. Import it in your profile setting from Bartender, and you will have my action bar setup done. My retail UI import will increase the unit frames and place them on the same spot as I have on my screen right now. Additionally, I use Cell as my unit frames. Cell comes in super handy for using utilities on teammates. For example, a fast combat res or a quick lay on hands. After 20 years of playing World of Warcraft, I've developed a keybinding style that works well for me. As I've gotten older, i focused on creating a setup that is both visual and intuitive. Visual keybinds help reinforce muscle memory, which makes all the difference for me. On screen, you'll see my keyboard on the left and my MMO mouse on the right. Now, it's not a perfect fit. There will be some small adjustments, but it's intuitive nevertheless. As you can see, I use an MMO mouse. The brand doesn't really matter. In the past I've used Razer and Corsair and currently I'm using the Steel series. Just go with what you like the most, you probably have one already. But what's important is that it has 12 side buttons and a DPI button behind the scroll wheel. I'll explain how to use the DPI button in a moment. My UI features 3 rows of action bars. Depending on the class, I either use 8 action bars per row for classes with less abilities like for instance the Demon Hunter or I expand to 10 action bars per row for classes with a lot of abilities, like the Paladin, the Monk or the Warrior. And when doing so, I would add some keybinds by adding the scroll wheel shift. Now let's have a look at the DPI button I was talking about and what I use it for. Interrupts are critical and as a tank you need to be on point with your interrupts. You don't press them as often as your rotation but when you do, it has to be instant. That's why I bind it to my DPI button as a fast access interrupt key. It's incredibly responsive, especially while moving. I myself use H as the keybind and I even use Shift H or Shift DPI for additional abilities like a health stone. You don't have to go this route, just use your imagination. Imagination. Let's talk about zooming your camera. Stop using your scroll wheel to zoom the camera. Instead use Alt plus scroll or even bind page up or page down for camera zoom. Now you can use your scroll wheel for more impactful abilities. I use scroll forward for movement abilities like charge, roll, wild charge, wraith walk. If you do start falling off platforms because you scrolled your mouse by accident, then put it on shift scroll. This way your friends won't clip you falling off a bridge. For scroll backwards, I tend to use fast defensive abilities like Iron Fur, Shield Block or Demon Spikes and Celestial Brew for the Monk or important ground placed abilities like Consecration and Death and Decay. It's really convenient to have abilities on your mouse that are off the global cooldown. This way you can do them during your rotation. I've played a lot of shooters in my life so coming from a shooter background I definitely prefer WASD for movement. But if you rather play with ESDF that's perfectly fine too, but you will need to move some keybinds. But nevertheless, here's the first change I made for movement. Go to keybinds by pressing escape, go to options, then find movement keys. Change A to strafe left and D to strafe right. This stops you from turning in circles and makes your movement way more responsive. Next you have your tier one keybinds. These are your bread and butter combat keys your important rotational abilities. First up you have your classic number keys, 1, 2, 3 and 4. I tend to use these for my core rotation. Next I use Shift E, always my taunt, so I don't accidentally press taunt. Shift Q for my important pot, E for my breath of fire, Q 
cue for my important cooldown. F and G I tend to use for heals or defensives, or evasion abilities. F is frequently used defensively. It's a really convenient button to press for a lay on hands or a purifying brew. Well, I'm sure you'll find something important to place there. Important tip, avoid putting spammy abilities on Q. It's hard on your pinky. You definitely don't want to break your pinky. Use Q, F and G for cooldowns or defensive instead. I don't use F1 to F12 on my keyboard. Instead, I map them to the 12 side button on my MMO mouse, as shown on screen. Button 1 is F1, button 2 is F2, and so on. Mostly I use the most convenient ones for abilities I want to activate while moving, like off GCD skills or situational cooldowns. Where you place your abilities on these buttons depends on your mouse grip. Try out what feels best for you. My advice here is definitely avoid putting spammy abilities here if you can. I know it's tempting, but you'll hurt your thumb and most definitely break your mouse buttons. Tier 2 Keybinds Shift Modifiers This tier is for big cooldowns and oh crap buttons. Shift 1, 2, 3 and 4. For example, Fortifying Brew, Shield Wall, Divine Shield and Dancing Rune Weapon. Tier 3 are my non-keybind action bars. This one isn't really that important, but I'll mention them anyway. I have two extra action bars. One on the right side of the screen, one below my main bars. These bars disappear in combat and are basically used for my mounts and my heart stones on the right side and flasks and weapon oils underneath my action bars. Perfect for pre-pull and downtime between fights. Tier 4 are rarely used keys, super situational keybinds. I use C for flying mounts, V for ground mounts and B for bags. And that's it, my complete keybind and UI setup. I hope it helped or gave you some inspiration for your own configuration. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. A huge thank you to my Patreons for your amazing support. You make this possible. If you'd like to support the channel and get access to exclusive videos, check out my Patreon. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. A sub goes a long way and I'll see you in the next one. Brings out.